Hello, welcome back. This third video is uh, another on types of data and measurement scale. This time it's a little different. We're not considering a table of information and identifying the different components uh, of the data set. This time we're looking at a survey of questions, this uh, specifically from a student drug use survey, and we're going to identify the type of data and the measurement scale uh, used for the data uh, for each of these questions. So the first question is simply asking, are you male or female? So I can answer here, uh, let's say I'm, I'm male. Uh, it's a text response, so that eliminates interval or ratio from the possible options of, of measurement scale. Uh, so it's either nominal or ordinal. Now to be ordinal, of course, means that we can rank uh, the responses in some meaningful way. Uh, in terms of gender, I don't think there's any meaningful ranking that we can we can perform. So this uh, this is going to be then a nominal a nominal variable. Uh, is it quantitative or categorical? In order for it to be quantitative, it has to be uh, numerical. Uh, nominal variables are by definition categorical variables. Okay. Now, keep in mind, um, nominal variables, they can be non-numeric or numeric. So what I've done here, obviously, is a non-numeric response. But what if, uh, what if the question had stated, you know, male is uh, 0 and female is a 1? So now instead of writing male or female, now I'm going to write uh, 0 or, or 1. So even if it's numeric, it doesn't in any way change the nature of the information that exists within that response. It's still telling me exactly the same thing, so it, it still continues to be a nominal uh, categorical variable. That doesn't change anything. So moving to question B, uh, what grade are you in? Um, I can be in grade 2 or 4 or 8, uh, whatever, grade 6. So these are all numerical responses, uh, so that doesn't really help limit the type of measurement scale, as any of them can, can be numerical. Uh, does the order matter? Well, quite clearly, I can order these observations, or, or sorry, I can order these data points in terms of you know, earliest grade to latest grade, uh, so, so that makes sense. I know grade 2 comes before grade 8. Uh, is the interval matter? Well, yeah, if I, if I look at 8 minus 2, uh, that's, six grades, uh, that's 6 grades difference. That's the same as if I were to compare grade 7 and grade 1. That's also 6 grades, and, and that's, that's 6 grades is 6 grades. It's the same uh, across the, the, the possible answers. So it could definitely be an interval. Uh, what about the ratio? If I look at uh, the ratio of 8 over 4, this is 2. So that would mean that somebody in grade 8 has completed twice as many grades as somebody who's in grade 4. So, so that seems to make sense as well. Similarly, if my response to this is, is 0, well, I suppose that means I'm not in school. An unlikely response, considering this is a survey of students. Uh, but to have a value of zero here implies uh, I'm not in any grade. So this uh, would then be uh, ratio, ratio data. And as it is uh, ratio data, it must be quantitative. Okay, uh, moving on, C. This one's uh, maybe a little bit more tricky. What is your grade point average? And it says provide numerical average and corresponding letter grade. So this is actually going to be measuring uh, basically the same thing, but on two different scales. So different universities, different schools will have a different uh, scale or different way of measuring grades. Let's say that uh, the grade point average is on a scale of 0 to, to 4. So a 0 would be an F and a 4 uh, is, is an A. Uh, if my grade point average, the numerical average, is, uh, let's say, a 3.0. So is that uh, quantitative? Is that categorical? What kind of measurement scale might that be? Well, clearly it's nominal. 
ordinal, yes. I can rank these observations quite clearly based on uh, performance on that numerical grade point scale. Is it an interval? Absolutely. I can compare the difference between any two GPAs and that gives me that difference indicates that one student is performing some measurable amount better or worse than uh, another student. Uh, similarly, uh, is it uh, a ratio scale? Yes, I have a zero in there. That zero has a specific meaning. Uh, and I can look at the ratio, uh, let's say uh, four uh, divided by a two, and this would give me a two, so I can say the student is performing or has a GPA that is twice as high as uh, another student. So the first part, if we look at the numerical average, this numerical average here, this is going to be a ratio uh, because it, it meets all of the criteria of a ratio uh, and so it's going to be quantitative. Now the corresponding letter grade, again if we have a scale that is a 0, is an F, uh, up to a 4, which is an A, and let's say I'm uh, my grade point average is a 3, uh, so that corresponds to uh, B. Well, if we look at just the, the measurement scale here, well, now it is non-numeric. So it can no longer be interval, and it can no longer be ratio. If I'm looking at just the letter grade, this must be an ordinal measure, and therefore categorical. Uh, it's ordinal because clearly we can uh, still rank students in terms of their overall performance, uh, but it's not interval or ratio because I can't take uh, a difference. I can't look at A minus B. I can only do that with their numerical equivalencies. Uh, so if I'm looking at just the letter grade, that's going to be ordinal. Okay, uh, moving on, part D. How old were you when you first drank alcohol? Uh, so this is going to be giving us uh, age. Uh, let's say I was 17 years old. Fabricated data. I wasn't actually 17 years old, but we don't need to get into that. Uh, 17 years old was the first time uh, this particular survey respondent drank alcohol. Uh, what type of data is this? This is going to be uh, ratio data again. So here we have ratio. Why? Because if I said zero, it means that, well, I have yet to be born. So an unlikely response, but a possible response. It, it has meaning. As zero, it means I have no age, not born, haven't been born yet. So, so that has meaning. Uh, if I compare two data points, let's say one is 17 and another is 34, well, that 34-year-old uh, was twice as old as uh, the 17-year-old when they first drank alcohol. So this would be ratio data, uh, and so this would be uh, quantitative data. Okay, the last question. On a scale of 1 to 5, uh, rank your frequency of use of alcohol and rank your frequency of use uh, of marijuana. And so here we have our scale ranging from a one is daily to a five is only once ever in your life. So here we have a numeric response that can be that could be anything uh, in terms of nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio. Uh, this one is going to be an ordinal variable because again. Uh, I can rank individual observations or individual data points based on uh, frequency of use, but uh, the interval here wouldn't have any uh, significant meaning. Uh, only once in your life or a five minus annually uh, or four, uh, that interval doesn't really have any uh, meaning to it. So this is going to be an ordinal variable, uh, so it's categorical. Okay, and that's the same for uh, parts A and B of that last question. Okay, so I hope uh, I hope this all makes sense. Uh, we'll uh, continue on again with a, another video uh, coming up soon. Okay, thanks. Bye.